So it's Monday now. Yesterday was Sunday and you could hear the birds chirping. It was warm. Now it got cold here again and it's, it's snowing, just a light snow. But it's so foggy that you can hardly see 100 yards. is going to put a big uh, damper into my day. I was planning on moving the cow-calf pairs and uh, moving them up from the top quarter section to, um, there's, a, there's a big field that's seven quarters and now that they're bigger and older I like to move them. But the, a lot of the calves will lay low and with the fog the moms will never find them so we'll, that's it where we got to have adversity on the ranch and it's gonna have to be another day I'm gonna have to change plans it was, it was right over there where I pulled that calf off the ice and look at this here through the night and I never saw him because I was in here twice there was a pair of coyotes in the calving pen so the coyotes are around that's part of the reason why we got to check because if you get a weak calf they, they won't pull down a good healthy calf usually but there's a lot of weak calves out there that we've been saving and a little bit of a weak calf and uh, it, they clean them up within the, honestly the coyote will be hide off guts out within two hours it will be it will look like there's nothing left of the calf they'll clean them right up and here you can see where the coyotes were really milling around here last night it looks like it's just uh, manure that they were eating out there and coyotes are that's why they one thing that they really like to come around in the calving pen and they really they really like to uh pick pick up baby calf uh, manure we're gonna go over and check on the the older calves now too but they really like that that's like candy to them crazy thing is is that this year we 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 take a lot of fur we shoot a lot of coyotes and this year the Hutterite boys, they skid them all out for us and they ship them off. And uh, they t I think they took 68 coyotes out of the, this year out of the, out of the shed and there's still coyote tracks everywhere. A lot of people think that they aren't around. You don't see them, but they are not, they are almost nocturnal. Uh, but a lot of people say they see them during the day and that's because there's just so many of them. They're more of a nocturnal animal. I couldn't imagine what the calving situation would be like if we didn't um, kill 68 coyotes this year. Last year I think it was 76 or something like that, I can't remember. But the amount of coyotes that you still see around and the amount of coyotes that the Hutterite boys have taken out of the coyote shed for skinning and sending off to the fur market, um, it's, it's just unbelievable how God has created these creatures to continue and be the ultimate survivors. It's there. It, it, uh, in a way, it's kind of fascinating, but in a way, it is uh, frustrating as well. Petro in the tractor. I had somebody uh, comment about our first video and said, you know, back in the old days, we used to be able to feed everything by hand. And now look at the tractor. Look at this. It tells you, it puts a little light up here. It says, uh, we call those, maybe I shouldn't say this, uh, idiot light. That's what some people call it. It says, hello, can you put some fuel in me? crazy everything everything flashes at you and if you think about it our ancestors had a horse and buggy with a pitchfork no petrol in their tractor they had to feed their horses for their petrol all the cows heard the tractor when I was filling petrol the calves and they were already heading up to the farm up to the up to the ranch, to the ranch there so I knew they'd be doing this back here. These cows have got to feed these calves and making this extra milk. They need lots of water. They need lots of uh, feed. 
and I got one issue going on with this cold weather and it's warming up. I'm hoping this creek will run again because the creek is dried right up down here. It hasn't been running. Um, we're gonna go feed them down here in open water, see how much is left. There's a little water hole that fills up down here and that's why I've always had the cows with calves down here. If not, I gotta get these cows moved, but like I said, I'm not moving them today because of this fog. So, hopefully tomorrow or this afternoon the fog lifts and I get them out of here to somewhere where there's water. The water is open and it looks like there's enough of this hole yet here. So there's a cow out here by herself, Paul, and we're gonna get her number. Make sure we find her calf and make sure she hasn't crawled out of the calving pen. You can see the calving pen up there, the cow's up there. Let's get her number here. Uh, 9B, she has not calved yet, so she has crawled out. But I don't know, I'm not so sure if he hasn't calved. So maybe she's, there's a good chance she's probably calving. So now we're in the calving pen. There's a few new calves there, but here's that 9B. She come running back, she's hungry. Watch her where she comes in. And then, uh, you see it? There's a hole in the fence, I think, right there. And she's back in. That looks like we've got a fix to make. <laughs> so here's the little alleyway that 9B made. We're gonna just fix this wire in here because the I don't mind the fence I like it being a little loose here because you know when a cow is calving if she's gonna go she's gonna go and she'll cut herself up otherwise for the most part they want to stay in we feed them we give them everything they got here so we're gonna go into the power wagon on the, the box and get everything we need so this is B's cow here She's like the lead cow and I'm fixing the fence here and she decides to come up and check out what's going on here. I asked Michaela what we should name this cow and Michaela said B E because she's her number's 45 E. So B as in B and E as in Edward. B E. So I'm just sitting here in the office. I'm gonna do some invoicing, but before that, I need to prepare for our men's group study. And I wanted to show you some of the fur that um, we've salvaged. Most of the fur that, that I get goes off to the fur market for coats and for clothing. Um, we, on the stretcher here, we have a, a badger that we got this year. And also over here, uh, a nice prime coyote that we kept just for a wall de decoration but as we prepare the one thing that God really laid on my heart um, John 10 10 says the thief's purpose is to steal kill and destroy my purpose is to give life all in all its fullness a lot of there might be a lot of question life and life to to its fullest how does that look um with us coming on to the easter season i thought maybe i could try to use this this week if you guys are still interested in watching these videos to take take you along see you pray about it see what god will uh will show us and um see if we can um basically dig into his word and translate the 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 gospel the good news um if you haven't already uh john is is a really good uh book if you're interested in to start to read the gospel if uh through everything that we're going through there's a lot of this stuff that we're going through right now if you actually read it and um anyways let's try to we're going to try to take the that time uh i just want to pray quick as we uh move forth into this Dear Jesus, I just uh, thank you so much for um, technology. Thank you that we can use it to glorify you. And I just pray right now that uh, whoever's watching this, Lord, that you would touch their heart, that you would fill fill them 
with life to the fullest. Um, just as the coyotes in the field, they come to steal, kill, and destroy, so does um, Satan. And, and we, uh, we believe that Satan is real. We believe that he deceives us. And God, we, um, we want to walk the other way. We, we want to actually uh, come to you for guidance. We want to come to you for um, living our life so that we can be, have eternal life. And we know that that is life to the fullest because the life, our lives on this earth will end. Be with us as we go throughout the rest of our day. Amen. Okay, well, we'll uh, continue to take you along. She was it. That calf was laying right in this little mm. pocket here, too. So this old croc just had twins. And the first one was dead. And Dad saw the water bag coming out of the second one. She calved it okay on her own. Oh, yeah. What do you figure with this one? Was it... it probably kicked the cord off. Mm. It's bled to death. It's white. Mm. If you look at the skin... One of the other ones did. The skin is white. Right here, I'll just... And just a dish rag too. So make sure it doesn't spray because I already had my shower this week. So we had a skunk, I was in the side shed here, setting up panels before that cold snap and a skunk ran in between my legs. So the old uh, coyote hunter trapper, he said I'll get him and he put his trap in here and we ended up catching him here this morning. Towards him, but he's got that shield, so he always thinks a little. And Grandpa is gonna get him out of here, relocate him. Oh, <laughs> relocate the skunk. And I think what he's actually gonna do is Grandpa's gonna go and baptize him. He's like Elmer Fudd out here. That cow down there that just calved, I am trying to find her calf. We just showed it to you there a little while. She had twins. One was dead. The live one, she's even running around and looking for it. So I got to go. I don't know if Grandpa took it and put it in the barn. I don't know why he would, but I'm going to have to go ask him because I have looked everywhere and there's nowhere where it's fell through in the thin ice. I cannot see a hole. So I don't know, but... I gotta find her calf. So we found her calf. It was just a little confused. He's underneath there trying to suck right now. He was uh, up in the herd running around and she was confused and he was confused. Now we'll lock her in. This is what we call a call cow. She's got a stifled hip. And if we do lose a calf, we will be taking this calf because uh, this cow might not make the summer so I'm not sure if you guys remember this morning but out there 9b she was out there and and I said there's a cow there either she crawled out to calve or something and I came out of there went back to the back coulee to feed there's the farm right there she crawled out of the corner down there and she came back into the corner in the second clip. We're quite a ways down here. And down in the coulee here, I've been driving the top of this coulee thinking, oh, I'll see that calf everywhere. Can you guys see it? 
it's right in the middle of the screen I'm not sure if you can see it but I'm colorblind so I have trouble with the red calves in the bush but it is right at the tip of my finger you can see it right there I guess I need uh, black cows and white snow. So we're gonna, we're on the bike, I'm gonna go grab this calf. We're gonna, I'm gonna throw it over my lap. And I just fed, I know where, where nine B is. Try to take it to her and mother him up. Still with the cows and the calf, now it's still back in there. So see how it goes. Nine B had a calf. Can you see it in the bush there? So I got the calf on my lap here. I'm not gonna be able to film them and drive though, because I need my thumb to push on the to push on <laughs> on the throttle. We'll get them back there. Well, she's sniffing them now. So we got them back in there. Settled down. She's mothered up to him right away, but she was eating away on the green feed. But in the meantime, this little guy, he, I didn't pee my pants. He peed my pants. And he pooed my pants. Who said ranching's easy? You got to get the coyotes away from the calving area. And uh, their, their fur isn't even prime right now anyways. So uh, put a little run on them. The next time they hear the bike or the truck come in, usually they're gone. There's lots of uh, wildlife for them to eat right now with the CWD and the deer. Lots of dead deer around. They're eating lots. Skunks, uh, just can't have them in the barn. It's a long and short of it. One last thing too before we head out. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, um, I don't know what this means, but uh, click on the like thing. I don't know what it does. I, I'm just new to this. <laughs> The other thing is, uh, if you have any comments, put the comments below. And uh, I got a hunch that I'm going to make a few more videos. And uh, if you don't like something, maybe I'll ditch it. Maybe not. If you do like something, want more of something, I'll try my best to get it on there. But you can't plan things like uh, coyotes and skunks, really. You can't. Okay. Good night.